Hello there. This is the family doctor. Benching, you're crazy. Well, maybe I am. No, no, I ain't neither crazy. You know as well as I do. It's towns like Cedarton that runs rife with wars and rumors of wars. Man's got to be on the lookout. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Now open your mouth. Well, and don't well, talk. Uh, uh, <laughs> now, I do. Well, that ought to hold you for a while. Thanks, Doc. Yeah, I feel better already. Yep, as I was saying, a chief of police like me has got to keep us. Well, the... <laughs> oh, so mighty, Doc. I wonder if that sprain you give me is going to do any good. Oh, I sure it'll do you good. But you can't expect miracles. When a man's as careless as you are, Bill, gallivanting around in weather like this, he's got to expect nature to take its course. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, here, I'll give you a box of these pellets, yeah. too. <laughs> now, you take one every 15 minutes for two hours, yeah. then one every hour. All right, thanks, Doc. Just a minute, Bill. Hello. Yes, this is Dr. Adams. Oh, yes, yes. Hello, how are you? Yes, he's here. It's for you, Bill. Huh? For me? Well, why, Gabe Hotchkiss is the only person who knows I come up here. Well, that's who it is. Oh. Go ahead and answer. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, hello? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just a second, Gabe. Just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> what? Well, where'd you go? All right, all right. I'll come, I'll come right down to the station. My gosh, Doc. What's the trouble? Oh, that little guppy girl's gone run away again. No. Yeah, yeah. Her, her father's down to the station house now. Gabe says he's mighty excited. Been uh, looking for her ever since supper time. Wants me to organize... <laughs> yeah, wants me to organize a posse and go out a hunting party for her. Uh, what, uh, what you doing the rest of the evening, Doc? Come along. I'll join the posse if that's what you mean. That's it, Doc. All right, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh mighty! If I ever go duck hunting in the rain again, I hope somebody shoots me. They won't have to. You'll die of pneumonia. Oh, now, Doc, you, you shouldn't have said something. <laughs> <laughs> before supper. She was out in uh, her little playhouse, as we thought, uh, but when her mother went to call her for supper, she wasn't there. Uh-huh. You uh, ain't had no notes, have you? Notes? Uh, what do you mean, notes? Uh, from uh, kidnapping? Oh, no, of course not. She's done this before. Uh-huh. She's just run off by herself, but she's never gone away from home as far as this. Up to now, every time she's run away, we've been able to find her right close at some neighbor's house. Mm-hmm. Well, I reckon the only, the only thing... I reckon the only thing to do is to split up in four directions and 
Start out looking for it. Mr. Guppy, uh, you and Jim Hoskins go off the south road as far as the old mill. All right. And, uh, Gabe, yeah. you take Mr. McGinnis and go up the canyon road as far as Miller's Lake. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and be sure and ask Griff Miller, has he seen anything of the little girl? Okay. And uh, then you, Ferguson, you, you and... <laughs> you and... You uh, and Joe Little go out the main highway toward Dunlap. And uh, go as far as Dunlap Junction if you have to. Doc, uh, you and me will go down by the track. All right. Now, whoever finds her first, come back here to the station house and start the siren. Keep it going until all the posse comes back. You understand? All right, all right, men, get going. And, and don't you worry, Mr. Guppy. We'll find a little... Oh, 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 by the way, uh, what's her name so we can call her? Esther. Esther. Uh, all right, all right. Get in your way, men, and good luck. Come on, Doc. <laughs> No, but youngsters have been doing it for generations, Bill. Yeah, I know, but seems like there must be something the matter. Something she don't like about her home to go meandering away like that. There is. Uh, well, 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 what is it? Hey, listen, they ain't cruel to her, is it? Because if they is, there's a log in there. No, no, Bill. They treat the little girl all right. It's themselves. Themselves? Yep. Uh, wait a second. Let's call her again. All right. Uh, Esther! Esther! Esther Guffey! Uh, nope, nope, I ain't a sign over yet. Well, come on, Doc, we might as well keep moving. <laughs> now, <coughs> what was we saying? Oh, yes, you was going to tell me what's wrong up to the Guffey that would make little Esther run away. Oh, uh, what's that? Yeah, well, I'll well, show you. Oh, now, Doc, I, I should ought to know these things. I, as chief of police of Cedarton, sure ought to be in on all the angles of the town. Uh, you should, eh? Why, sure. Else how would I ever have any basis for clues? Clues for what, my Clues for, well, well, I don't know what's going to come up. You know that, Doc. I, I just mean that the more angles a man has on people, the better he can reconstruct a mystery. Uh, I see. Well, come on, Doc. Tell me, tell, tell me what's... <laughs> oh. Tell me what's wrong up the guppies. Bill, are you taking those pellets I gave you? Yeah, gosh, I might even know, Doc. Forgot all about them. Here, I'll take five of them all at once. No, no, Bill. That'll be worse than none at all. Just take one every 15 minutes, as I told you. Yeah, all right. You're the doctor, as the feller says. <laughs> that feller again. Yeah. See, I, I think the rain's letting up a mite, Doc. Yeah, appears to be. Uh-huh. Well, go ahead, Doc. You know, what do you mean? Uh, tell me about the guppies. Bill Benson, you're the snoopinest, nosiest old gossip I've ever seen. You're the worst old meddler in Cedarton. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I guess I am, Doc, I guess I am. But that's what makes me a good chief of police, I reckon. <laughs> oh, well, let's call her again, Doc. Esther Guffey! Esther! Nope, nothing yet. Doc, I don't think she could have come all this way by herself, not that little five-year-old girl. Well, I don't know, Bill, she might have. We don't want to give up till we hear that siren. Besides, that 820 westbound limit will be pounding through here pretty soon, and I don't aim to get myself all clogged up with cinders and dust. <laughs> well, you go back, Bill. I think I'll keep on for a little ways. Uh, huh? Me go back? Well, don't talk crazy, Doc, as long as you... Listen. Yep, yep, there she comes. The 820. She'll be around in Salt Mountain right now. Be here in about five minutes. And there's the canyon trestle right ahead of us. Well, now let's stand over in that hey, bridge. Bill. Hey, look. Huh? What, what's the matter? What do you see, Doc? Uh, out there on the trestle. The, the moon just came out a little then, and I think I... Yeah, it is. Huh? Oh, hey, gosh, I see her now, Doc. It's a little guffy girl. Come on. Oh, hey, wait, Doc. L- listen, you can't get out there on that trestle and come, uh, and get back again before the 820 comes in. You can't do it, Doc. Oh, yes, I can, and I'm going to do it. No, no, no. Esther. Esther Guffey, you stay right there where you are. Don't move till I get No, here. Doc, no. Just tell her to run towards you. Get caught in the ties? Oh, no. Stay right there, Esther. Oh, my gosh. Doc can't make it. They're coming to the 8th just round in the bend. Doc Adams, you come back here. I'll see for police to see them. Can't hear me. Oh, he'll never make it. Well, he, he's got a hold of her. Yeah, but he can't get back a hold of that thing. Oh, so mighty. He's done. Oh, 
What's going on here? What's happened? What's the trouble? Well, there was a little girl out there in that trestle, and Doc Adams, he went out there and got her. He jumped into the creek with her just before you come onto the trestle. He's down there now. Come on. <laughs> of the church. Oh, no, no, please, Lou, I don't want to see anybody. No, Lou, no, no, you, you just tell them that I'm, well, that I, I had to go down to Dunlap or something. <sighs> tell them I'm laid up with pleurisy or bronchial pneumonia. T- tell them anything, Lou, but gosh, to Friday for my sake, don't let them come down here. I, I don't want to see anybody about what happened last night. Oh, thanks, Lou. Uh, somebody's just coming in. I'll have to hang up now. Yes, Yes, I'll be home for lunch. Goodbye. Well, how do you do? Oh, good morning, Bill. Doc, there's a gentleman here who'd like to say something to you. Oh, is that so? Who is it? Oh, good morning, Mr. Guffey. Dr. Adams, there isn't much that a man in my position this morning can say to a man in yours. Oh, well... But I just want to tell you this. Mrs. Guffey and I aren't given very much to religion... But last night, after our little girl was tucked away safely in bed, her mother and I knelt down in the dark and thanked God that there are heroes like you in the world. Mr. Guffey, any man on that posse would have done the same thing. I, well, thanks for what you've just said. It means more to me than you can know. I, well, I was just, just on my way out to make a call and... I, <laughs> Excuse me, I got, got a little wet last night. <laughs> Bill, what are you laughing at? Here, Doc, have a pellet. Any man that's crazy enough to go gallivanting around and getting himself all soaking wet in a creek has got to expect nature to take its course. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Benson, you old fool. <laughs> family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. 